In this video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make one gallon of hard apple cider. Hi, I'm Charles, and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Okay, now to make our hard apple cider, we need the following ingredients. We need apple cider, preferably one that's been pasteurized and does not contain any preservatives. We need about two pounds of brown sugar. I'm going to be using Premier Cuvée wine yeast. Again, you can use whatever you got. Using one cinnamon stick. If you've got cloves and you want to add that, uh, that's also an option. I need something to do primary fermentation in. Jug, jar, demijohn, carboy, take your pick. I need something to do secondary fermentation in, preferably something that doesn't already have wine in it, <laughs> okay? Uh, I need to degas and back sweeten this one later today, so that's why this has got something in it. I don't have a free one available for this video. Uh, you need star sands to make sure that everything has been sanitized. And you need a hydrometer to check your, your gravity readings to help you determine what's going to be your alcohol level. And that's what we're going to be using to make this hard cider. All right, first thing we want to do is that we want to pour off about two cups of our apple, apple cider. I mean, you don't need to be precise, just about two cups ought to do it. And we're going to put that into a small pot, medium sized pot. And we want to bring up the temperature so that we get the apple cider warm. We don't want it hot. We don't want it boiling. We don't want it even at a simmer. We just want to get it warm enough so that it will dissolve our two cups or 500 milliliters for you uh, non-imperial folks of packed brown sugar. Now, if we need to add more sugar later on to adjust our hydrometer reading, we've got that, but I think we're only really going to use about two cups of sugar. And let's just wait for this to come to a good warm temperature. It's been a couple of minutes and I think our yeah, it's definitely warm enough. It's not boiling, but there's a little hint of steam there. We're just going to go ahead and add our two cups or 500 milliliters of brown sugar to the mix. And let's just stir to incorporate that. All right, I think that should just about do it. Now it's still a little warm. I think I'm gonna wait for that to come down in temperature a little bit more. I don't wanna kill off our yeast. In fact, I'm gonna leave the cover off. And we'll go ahead and let that cool down and come back and uh, all right, let's begin the assembly. First thing we want to do, since we have the opportunity, is that we want to shake up our remaining apple cider. And the reason why we're doing that is to incorporate a little bit more oxygen in the mix. Help the yeast out a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and pour our Barely warm, sweetened apple cider. Let's drop in our cinnamon stick. Let's go ahead and add our remaining apple cider. Let's go ahead and add our quarter of a teaspoon of yeast. 
quarter of a teaspoon. Sprinkle it all around. Let's put our cap back on. Nice and tight. Well, not that tight, but on there. And then for the next week or so, we'll go ahead and let the fermentation process do its thing. We can actually start drinking this in about two weeks, but I'm going to go ahead and rack it after the week, first week has gone by into a secondary fermentation uh, container, <laughs> jug, jar, carboy, demijohn, take your pick. And I'm going to let it uh, settle down and clear just a little bit. But basically, no, you don't have to wait months and months and months for this to get ready for drinking. You can drink it after a couple of weeks and it'll be just fine. Remember, we're going for hard cider, not wine. So the alcohol level won't be as great. But then again, it's good enough. And before I do anything else, I am going to take a hydrometer reading just so I can find out where I stand. And these are my readings here. Now, I've taken the liberty of labeling our cider so we know exactly what it is we're making when we started making it. And the original gravity reading started out at 1.080. Put that aside until we're ready to transfer or ready to start drinking it. And while I'm on the subject of fermenters, you know, this also would have worked just as well. All you would have needed to do was basically just uh, put your airlock or drill a little hole in your cap, insert your airlock, seal it on both ends, screw on the top, and that would have worked just as well. So, you know, you have options. You do have options. If you don't have the uh, airlock and you still want to give it a shot, then you can use the original cap that came with the, uh, with the cider, put it on loosely, not tighten it so that it's tight, but just put it on loosely so no bugs can get in. And just periodically, just loosen it up just to let out some of the buildup of CO2. And I mean, that will work just as well. So you have options. But there you go. Making hard cider, the initial steps, just that easy. I'll probably do a tasting video of this when this is all said and done to see if it turned out okay. But that's that.